Flow. Hello and welcome to Flutats. And in today's video, we're gonna learn the right way to apply echo effects, or as they call it, the smear effect, in your 2D animations. Also, we're gonna learn the modern way of using textures for your shapes. And this is an example of what you're gonna learn in this video. Also, guys, as always, you can download the project file from the link in the description, so you can find follow along. As you can see that I already prepared the shapes for this one so we can get straight to it basically we have this circle parented to the handle and we have the handle rotating 15 degrees both ways as you can see in the graph editor also we have the nail just for details and finally we have the texture that I will talk about more in the end of the video so basically when you apply the echo effect you have this result and it's not what we want and to fix it we have to increase the number of echo to 20 but we will face a problem where the circle are so far from each other to fix that we need to decrease the echo time from minus 0.0333 to minus 0.005 then you will have this smooth smear animation after that you can copy and paste it to the handle and change the number of echoes to 5 because we just need a little bit of smear there now let's talk about the texture I know you see this type of texture all over the place and I have been using it as well and some of you guys have been asking me about how to do it so basically it's just lines made in illustrator you can find them in Google it's called topography lines I provide some links uh, of places you can download it from so now let's apply it to the circle first as you can see I have the texture painted to the circle so whenever the circle move the texture will follow it then what you probably gonna do is duplicate in the circle and put it on top of your texture and from track mat you're gonna choose alpha mat but that's a lot of work and if you have a lot of this you will end up with a lot of layers and the right way and the right and fast way to do it is to go to your effects and presets and search for set mat apply it to your texture nothing happened because you need to change this from none to your circle shape but we will have a problem that is the texture only appear on the circle not the echo to fix that we are gonna change the source to effects and mask and now we have the texture on top of our circle yeah I think that's pretty much it that will do for this tutorial I hope you liked it if you have any questions leave them in the comment section below or join our discord server and ask me directly I'm 24 7 there also you can find a lot of motion design there that you can ask share your work and have feedback please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this and I'll see you in the next one bye Flow.